Hello and welcome to Urban Nights, a show that tackles a variety of different subject matters to give you a valuable, valuable insight in what you can do to benefit you or others around you. Good afternoon, I'm Oliver. And I'm George. And I'm Stephen. On today's show, we'll be looking at people's behaviour after consuming drugs and alcohol. We all have that one friend that just goes out to pull, but today we'll be talking about the risks of sleeping with someone you don't know and how you can protect yourself to prevent you from getting an STD. And finally, we'll be talking about the effects of prolonged use of drugs and alcohol on the body, as well as the risks of taking a substance that could instantly end your life. You guys looking forward to tonight's show? I am. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it should be good. It's yeah, be good. I think, uh, I think it's because it's a, a, such a large subject to talk about, we can yeah. cover quite a few things and maybe not so much few things. So yeah, yeah, we'll yeah. just see how it goes. Right, let's get started then. So we went out and interviewed random members of the public just to ask them a few questions about going out. So let's take a look. If you ever go on a night out, how do you feel about people who go on nights out and are only interested in looking for sex? Um, I don't really care about them more. It's more like, do I have fun or not to do it, hmm. like that night? I think it's unnecessary. I mean, like, you go out just to hang out with friends. That's my policy. I mean, I don't really go out uh, yeah. at night that often. That's not my principle of life, you know. So, how do you feel about people who go to nightclubs and are only interested in looking for sex? Uh, I'm quite con conflicted on that question, really. Um, I mean, if, as long as I'm not hurting anyone, I don't see why it's such a big deal, really. But at the same time, you know, people just going, going out just looking for that. That's kind of, you know, it's lame, you know. You just want to have fun, really, don't you, you know? I think there were some really good points there, but let's get our opinions about this. We asked the question, what do you think about people going out just for looking for sex? I think it's quite odd. Like, you won't go into the street and just start grinding against someone, mm. would you? I mean, like, what, sorry, you about to no, say No, I was just saying, no, I'm, oh, I'm agreeing with you. <laughs> no, I wouldn't go on nights out and start grinding against people. No, That's yeah. just weird. I mean, it happens a lot. Like, I'm sure members of like public have seen it and viewers at home have seen people do it when they're at clubs, but I don't think yeah. it's all about sex. Like, mm. it's about having fun with your friends and yeah, stuff. Yeah, I think yeah. it's going out and being social rather than having an objective of a night out, like looking for someone to have sex with and it's just, it's quite animalistic I think. Yeah, it See, is. Personally, I don't really mind all that nonsense <laughs> because if you're going out and you're having fun, you know, and you're being safe, I mean, that's perfectly okay. Yeah, yeah. Just it, as long as you don't make an absolute tit of yourself. Yeah, I mean like, it's, it's your life, do what you yeah. want, if you know what I mean. Um, but I think we should give the viewers at home some insight on how to have safe sex. Look, all I have to say is, Wear a condom. If you bag it up, then you'll be perfectly safe. You can get condoms for free from your local GP. I think it's really good that the government have acknowledged this and yeah. are trying to lower the STD rates. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I think it is really good. But I feel like we need to also talk about the drug aspect of the nightlife yeah, yeah. as well, because we do have a few members of the public to voice their opinions. So mm. let's take a look. Uh, how do you feel about people taking drugs on a night out? Well. Unless it's like alcohol, illegal drugs. Don't do them, kids. <laughs> a bit repulsive. <laughs> yeah, I don't really look into that matter a lot. But then when it happens, I just stay away from it. It's like self-harm, really. It's very harmful to yourself. Uh, but yeah, I wouldn't really go near them if they would yeah. have to avoid them. Have you ever seen anyone use drugs in these nightclubs? Uh, yeah, yeah, I've seen people use them yeah how does that make you feel well I mean it's their life isn't it I can't really judge um, if that's what it takes to make them happy as long as they're not harming anyone who cares you know have you ever witnessed anyone being spiked on a night out um, no but I have friends who actually got spiked before yeah oh really yeah can you tell us about it I wasn't there but it's just stories of her getting spiked and then she just went home very drunk very like dizzy and stuff like all that so yeah it's not a very good sign <laughs> uh no since i don't really you know go out to those yeah, places yeah. that often i don't really see anything but yeah i do have a friend who got spike points and um, that wasn't pretty yeah but, yeah can you tell me about that or? uh yeah unfortunately it was i think um it was a friend who spiked her ironically yeah yeah, Appar yeah. apparently um, statistics show that um the most per person who's most likely to spike you is a friend 
That's a bit scary, isn't it? <laughs> and last question, have you ever seen anyone or witnessed anyone being spiked on a night out? Um, no, I've never seen any I've never witnessed anyone being spiked, no. Um, I mean a lot of people claim it, don't know, but I, I, I don't know if people use it as an excuse for being too drunk, but you know, but yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Alright. Back to the studio. Now that you're seeing the public's opinion, we'll take a look at our opinions on this subject matter. Yeah, we will, and I have a few facts here, and Oliver does as well. Um, a big problem with ecstasy is that it's sometimes, it, it's rarely pure, and sometimes it is, there's no MDMA at all. Sometimes it contains other drugs like PMA. PMA is similar to MDMA, the chemical in ecstasy. It can make you feel alert, alive, and full of energy. Its similarity means that PMA is actually sometimes sold as ecstasy. However, PMA is more poisonous and can kill at lower doses than MDMA. Also, like MDMA, it can cause a rise in body temperature, which can be fatal. Regardless of this, or what it looks like or what it's called, you can't be sure what exactly is in the pill or powder, so you can't predict quite how you'll react. And to be honest, I find that pretty damn scary. Uh, I think it's, it's quite scary to think that you could just be enjoying your night out and yeah. one drink could cause, like, death. Yeah, yeah, even, yeah. Like, because of someone being yeah, spiked. Because yeah. spiking, spiking. Spiking. I know someone in the VT uh, said that like, yeah. in the interview. So um, a top tip for you. Keep your drink with you at all times. Keep your eyes off it. On yeah, it, yeah. not off it. I know seemingly. you can get like bottle stoppers as well. Yeah. yeah. Stuff. Uh, there was a, I think there was a public announcement to always make sure you've got your hand over your cup or bottle. Yeah. Just so you don't get yeah, spiked or yeah. be careful. And, I mean, it's, it's even scarier if someone's got like a, a condition as well, mm. like a heart condition or something, and they've been given a drug. Because, yeah. you know, you don't know how they're going to react. And I mean, in general, if, even if you don't have any conditions, you, you don't know how you're going to react to it either. Yeah. So I think it should be, you shouldn't do it at all. But there is other drugs mm. um, that I don't find as bad, like marijuana, because mm. in America they're legalising it at the moment. Um, and apparently we're going to think about legalising it over here. Uh, what do you think about it? Like, because I know so some people don't. If it's legalised uh, clinically, so it's only used for hospitals and all that, then I've got no problems with it. But if they legalise it, legalising it, and they're selling it on the streets, then that's when I've got a bit of a problem. Because yeah. there's already enough drugs out there as it is. I think if it's used medically, then it should be fine because yes. in some cases it could help with people, like people's disabilities, like. Parkinson's, it could stop the shaking in Parkinson's. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think, did you say this? I, I, I know my mum's got fibromyalgia in, um, mm. in her hands and um, arthritis, and I know it can stop the pain from that, and I know the, um, it stops like joint pains and stuff, yeah. and I know it low, lowers um, some forms of cancer as well, mm. so it's quite, it's quite good. Mm, yeah. um, do you know any more information about drugs? Uh, yeah, I do. Between... 2015 and 2016, one in 12 adults aged 16 to 59 are taken an illicit drug. This equates to 2.7 million people in the UK. We also had a look at the effects of alcohol and how this can change a person's mental and physical health, and also their life. In England, in, I'll try that again. In England alone, more than 9 million people exceed the recommended daily intake of alcohol. And in 2014, there were 8,697 alcohol-related deaths in the UK. That's quite scary. Th that's yeah, crazy. It's yeah. Very, for such a an easy accessible drug, it's quite scary because yeah, yeah. anyone can pick up alcohol. Well, over the age of eighteen, anyone yeah, can yeah. pick up alcohol. Um, yeah. and I mean, like, there's there's been less deaths deaths from marijuana than there has from alcohol. Yeah, I mean, there hasn't been any recorded deaths, I don't think, yeah. with marijuana. Um, I mean, obviously, other drugs like MDMA and stuff, there's been a lot of deaths with that. But I think there's been more deaths from alcohol than there has from... Yeah. Yeah. I think it's uh, the overuse of yeah. the drugs and how people use them and how excessively they use them. And yeah. it's just... I think they use them way too much and it gets out of hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, sorry. It's down to people not being safe, really, th yeah, in yeah. my opinion. Because you need to... See your limits, you need to control yourself. So, if you can't do that, well, then yeah. you're pretty much screwed up. It's like, um, I know obviously alcohol gives you liver failure, cigarettes yeah. give you lung cancer, and yeah. um, weed gives you paranoia and schizophrenia if, if you abuse them. Yeah. Um, and I know a lot of people like say, oh, you shouldn't legalize this and stuff, but I don't see a problem with it, as you said earlier on. Like, yeah. 
as long as you don't abuse it, it should be fine. Mm. Um, what else is like, you can get alcohol poisoning as well. Mm. I, um, I know on a staff night out, someone was trying to keep up with everyone that just turned 18. And uh, he, had, he got alcohol poisoning because he was drinking for that long. Yeah. That's quite so bad. On a night out, I've recently had at work, uh, the bartender who I worked with, he yeah. started drinking from two uh, onwards. And we're yeah. all supposed to meet up at like nine. So he'd been drinking for quite a few hours straight. Gosh. And throughout the entire night, he was just like, harassing all the girls. And it just really wasn't pleasant to be around. He was just really aggressive. Yeah. And that's because he didn't know his limits. But yeah. if, as long as you realise your mistakes, you know what to do and what not to do, then you'll be perfectly fine. And people won't treat you like an ass. I think it's all about control because if yeah. it's not controlled, then it gets all out of hand. And yeah, and you'll just ruin your night and everyone else's night yeah. around you. Yeah, yeah. And I know um, alcohol makes you do stupid things. Yeah. I mean, like, no matter what the drug it is, mm. it's always going to make you do something stupid. Yeah. I know, like, a lot of people go to, like, Ibiza and stuff, and there was a trend for a while called balcony jumping, which, like, you'd go from balcony to balcony. And a lot of people were doing that while drunk. And you shouldn't do it sober, really, but. Yeah. Um, and they were falling off because they couldn't, obviously, yeah. control themselves. Um, and I think, unfortunately, we've run out of time um, for today. It's a shame, actually, um, we couldn't cover all the subject matters. Uh, but we hope that you've, uh, we've given you some insight on nightlife in, in this current age. Um, I've been Stephen. I've been Oliver. And I'm still George. If you would like to contact us, please visit our Twitter or Facebook page. At Twitter, it's at Urban Nights, or email us at urban underscore nights at tees.ac.uk. We've hoped you enjoy the show. Good, Good night. night.